we're here today um, outside the new academic building of the LSE because the Italian society invited Marco Minniti to come and speak and Minniti is the former Italian interior minister and he was responsible for passing a memorandum of understanding with Libyan authorities with the Serraj government um, to send people on the move back to Libya where, are, where they are imprisoned in detention centers and where the UN and people on the move who have made it to Europe have testified that there are really, really grave human rights abuses going on. There's rape, torture, people are enslaved, there's slave markets happening in Libya. The CNN has reported on this. At the end of February, Channel 4 News also made a documentary about this. So we are in the UK and the LSE has invited one of the people who was directly responsible for the current dying of people in Libya. And this is why we're here and we're protesting. Why the red hands? Well, the red hands because we believe that Minniti, uh, even if now he's trying to resell himself as a center-left uh, person, he was the responsible uh, in, 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 in contraposition to, uh, to Salvini, that we all agree is more fascist than him. But still, he has the responsibility for the people who are uh, suffering, are being tortured, are being raped, are being enslaved in Libya. And so he, we believe that he has red blood in, in his hands. And that's why we showed him our uh, red blood uh, hands inside the, the, the building after asking him questions, after letting him speak and saying his bullshit. And we, are, we did it again here outside. We are happy a lot of people turned out to remind him that we don't forget who he is, what he has done, what are his responsibilities. So, what do you make of Miniti's argument that he prevents human trafficking? This idea of human trafficking is just a trap because they are trying to legitimize themselves in doing harsh policy borders, not allowing uh, NGOs to rescue people, criminalizing them by setting codes uh, just because they are private actors, but why are you not setting up a European intervention in the Mediterranean Sea to rescue lives and why you are not doing a lot more channels, more humanitarian channels. Miniti did it for few people, so it doesn't make any sense. Human trafficking is a tool for delegitimizing all the, the cross borders that are not legal, but legality is established by state, by government, so it's not anything natural. And talking about uh, human trafficking is just a way to, to conceal it. Shouldn't the left be focusing on the extreme right as opposed to criticizing the left itself? Sorry? Shouldn't, we, shouldn't the left or shouldn't protests like these be focused on the extreme right instead of the left wing politicians and liberal politicians? Yeah, I agree. But at the same time, there are strong lines of continuities and Minniti paved the way for Salvini. This is very sad, but it's also totally true because Salvini couldn't have done what he did and what he will do without having uh, Minniti preparing the field for uh, a, a person that is more fascist than, than him. This is the issue. So, and this is not just uh, about uh, Minniti, but it's also about Macron and all the liberal management of uh, the European border regime. Because the Turkey agreement was made by the liberal European uh, elites that are now saying, oh, the nationalists will be so dangerous for uh, Europe. But what, you, what did you do before? What is your... What is the liberalism that you are trying to defend? This is a liberalism that is fake. This is a just a theater, show. <laughs> lying, you are lying and, and your hands are in blood because you are not providing any other opportunities. You and all the European Union. So you are in continuity with all the nationalists and you were here by saying, ah, oh, we are democratic, we are liberal. But this is bullshit because we are doing exactly the same. No more.